this generation of prophets and dreamers is a joke. The eagle represents a seer, a real God called prophet. Eagles don't represent indoctrinated Christians and churches thinking they all are like the eagle, singing about the eagle kind, when they can't see an inch in front of their nose. Nor does the eagle represent Christians that has gifts of the Spirit like prophecy, discernment. Someone who has the gift of prophecy is not a prophet. That's just one of the nine gifts. But a prophet is one of the fivefold in the church. In Ephesians 4.11, And he gave some apostles and some prophets, some evangelists, pastors, and teachers. The prophet has been called out to abide in God's holy, 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 holy presence and tempered by God a little at a time, getting them ready and used to the altitude they're going to fly and abide in. When they're ready after they've been molded by the hand of God, they now live, abide, and they remain in the cleft of the rock, only coming out when God sends them out. Staying away from all carnal activities. Abiding in the realm of the Spirit continually. One example. Elijah the prophet who wouldn't even come out to talk to Naaman who became furious. In 2 Kings 5.11 But Naaman was wroth and went away and said, Behold, I thought he was surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the leprosy. Prophets obey God totally, staying away from people until God sends them out, telling them when, where, and what to do. They don't brag, boast, and desire big titles, wanting to be seen of men. That's what false prophets want. They manifest the attributes of the unsanctified flesh nature. They want everybody to see their title. I am prophet this. I am this. I am that. Real prophets know what and who they are. Their anointing, their anointing proves who they are. They don't need man's approval. They stay out of the spotlight until they bring a word from the Lord. Whether prophecy, preaching, warning, singing, teaching, writing, whatever. Thus saith the Lord what He says. God has made their foreheads like a flint. They don't care what man thinks because they know what's in man. Ezekiel twenty four eighteen. So I spoke unto the people in the morning, and at eve my wife died. And I did in the morning as I was commanded. Even though my wife died, nothing stops them. They have been molded by God, molded by God.